so what do you guys think of VSA? Yeah. It was good. Yeah. It was good. It's just something I wouldn't read normally. What? It was good, but it's something I wouldn't read normally. Yeah, I I was having trouble reading it. My attention span was too short to read something that long, but it was good nonetheless. Mm hmm So, um, I tried to look up two entrance true two interesting facts about it, but I couldn't really find anything. I yeah. couldn't either. I looked stuff up and I could not find anything. <laughs> yeah, neither could I. It was just well, I just wrote down Martin Luther King wrote down three different ways that people deal with oppression, even though that's the whole that's what the whole thing is about. Mm -hmm. That was my interesting fact. Is that what you guys wrote down? Did you write down something different? Yeah, I wrote down that, and then I just put, like, the year he died and, like, the year he was born and stuff like that. Yeah. I think I put down, I think I also put down when it was written. It was, like, mm -hmm. 1958. So. so, how does this influence your opinion of the text from when it was created? Specifically in reference to the question, can a nation exist in which all men are created equal? Um, I said, what I said was the three ways of oppression was written in 1958 and it influences me because it makes me think about um, that there's still millions of people who are still alive during this time when this was going on. So it really was not that long ago at all. So just to think about like this movement seems like something that would happen like hundreds of years ago when it probably should have happened. Um, but it really was only like a little over 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. That's what I wrote down. I agree with that. What were some quotes that you guys wrote down? Wrote down? Um... I like, I wrote down like the first, it's in the first paragraph, but he was talking about how Moses led the children of Israel out of like, I love how they were talking about like the Bible during this time. I don't know how to explain it. You get what I'm trying to say. Yeah. One of the quotes that I wrote down were, um, was freedom is never voluntarily given by the oppressor it must be demanded by the oppressed or something like that that's one of the quotes that i written now i wrote yeah. down something similar to that it was the oppressed must never allow the um consent of the oppressor to slumber so like um his the first example that he gave with the whole meeting was like people just letting it happen he was explaining how that's not morally correct and how you shouldn't just let that slide because it's it's not right to just let something like that slide, especially for your future children and other generations, future kids as well. Um, so I thought I really like that quote because it shows that you actually have to like do something about it in order for there to be change because it's not just going to happen on its own. Mm -hmm. So one of the last questions is, discuss a time in your life when you personally experienced oppression or have observed a, any acts of oppression. In which ways, in which of the three ways was the oppressed men, was the oppression met?
Have you guys experienced any or seen any impression depression going on? I just put like a couple of examples of like places where I've seen it, like school, work, and just like out in public and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's like pretty much all I wrote. Yeah. So I didn't really have yeah. like any examples. Yeah. Obviously, I've never experienced depression because I'm a white person. That's almost nearly impossible for a white person to be oppressed in America. So what I wrote down, and I haven't experienced any, well, not experienced, I haven't witnessed any of it myself. I've seen racist things, but racism is different from oppression. And mm -hmm. it's, it's a slight difference, but there is a difference. So what I wrote down is I haven't, I haven't experienced oppression myself because I'm white, nor have I seen it happen either because I don't get out much. But I've heard countless stories of people of color being oppressed countlessly. For example, I've heard that I've heard that if two people were doing were having a job interview, one white and one black, it's very likely that that the black person doesn't have if the black person doesn't have a European name, then they are less likely to get a call back from the job that they interviewed from. So if they have like a stereotypical black name, then it's they're a lot less likely to get a call back from that job just because their name is a little bit different than what we're used to yeah so i thought that was sad and i heard about that sorry i'm dehydrated i'm drinking a lot and the second question from your experience in question one do you agree with king and the nonviolent resistance is the best why or why not yeah, I agree, because violence is not the answer to anything. <laughs> yep, violence is not the answer. I said, I do believe that nonviolent resistance is the best way to go. Otherwise, you would just be giving a bad name to yourself and make others think worse of you. However, there's another quote that, Lar that Martin Luther King Jr. said, and it's, Oriah oh, is the language of the unheard, which I also agree with, because if these voices go unheard for so long and they could do countless peaceful protests for years and years and years to come, it could even be a hundred plus years. And if there's still no change, then they might have to do, they might have to result to something else because clearly peacefulness is not going mm -hmm. to get them anywhere else. So that's my view on that. If, so if you could stick with peaceful, that would be great. But if, if things need to be violent, then, I mean, I'm not going to get involved, but you got to do what you got to do, I guess. So what did you guys think overall of it? It was really good. I really liked it. I really liked it too. I never really thought of it as like three separate ways of meeting depression. I thought it, I always thought of it just like, just the ways people dealt with it, but I didn't realize that there are actually three categories until he explained all of them. I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Because that's typically how people do react to it. Yeah. So overall, I thought it was a really good essay. Even though I was having trouble reading it, I did enjoy reading it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to search a lot about it. <laughs> yeah. And this one actually had words that I didn't understand, so I could put it in my little vocabulary thing, unlike the last one. <laughs> mm. So I guess we can go ahead and stop unless you guys want to add in anything else. Mm -mm. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording.